Hi guys, it's Nash here again and I just thought you might like to take a look at my new knife that just arrived this morning and very quickly too from uh, Fast Tech. It just took them a week to get it here for me. Um, it is the San Renmu GB4913P. Very nice too. A few specs for you. Um, closed length 105mm long, open length 195mm, blade length 90mm with a blade thickness of 3.5mm uh, or thereabouts. Uh, the blade material is according to Fastec 8CR14MOV stainless steel with a hardness rating of 57 to 58HRC. As you can see it has G10 scales quite um, quite grippy right let's take a closer look at it okay nice smooth deployment there um, combination blade partly serrated uh, two thumb studs for ambidextrous use and a liner lock too. Centering, let's check that out. Very nicely centered. A bit of attention to detail there. Okay, so we have a very nice black finish to the blade. Um, as you can see, it's um, partly serrated. The blade is very thick, almost down to the tip. Minimal markings. And we have the G10 scales. Very nicely finished too, as you can see. And a lanyard hole in the end. We have the uh, really quite strong, um, almost unmovable pocket clip, so that's not going to go anywhere. Um, there's the uh, liner lock. <coughs> we have some jimping on the top of the handle and the rear of the blade too. And we also have a little jimping on the end here. And here again we have that very well centred blade. Here you can see there is a uh, probably a brass washer on one side and maybe a plastic washer on the other side. I haven't taken this little fella apart yet so I'm not sure exactly what they are in there. Um, the liner lock also has a little detent in it to lock the blade in the closed position. So I'll release it and you can see right, as you can see there's a little bit of a gap just there and when we release the blade you can see it unlock. Right in. We've got a very strong lock up too. There is absolutely no blade play whatsoever. It's very strong lock up. I do like that. And not only that, it sounds um, good too when it opens. There we go. Very reassuring. Okay, let's take a look at blade sharpness, shall we? I've got this. Um, travel catalog here. Let's have a quick look, see what we can do with it. Well, not hang on, let's try one page at a time, shall we? There we go. Another page. Nope, oh, bit of a slip there, but as you can see. 
more than capable of coping with this. Oops. But anyway, there we go. We know that's sharp. Let's try it on the spine of the... Um, Yep. I have my bag of bits here, so let's have a look, see what we can do. Fine. The blade. Uh, let's start with, uh, we won't bother with the garden twine. Well, we will go on in, let's start with the garden twine. Yep, effortless. Um, the smaller um, package strapping. Absolutely piece of cake. What about the thicker stuff then? Yep. And of course, oops, dropped it. Let's try the blade. Well, that was a piece of cake, wasn't it? What about the serrations? It's been interesting to try. Oh yeah, no bother there then. And the rope. So what we try the rope first. Let's try it with the blade, the plain part of the blade first. Yep, wasn't too bad. And the serrations, let's give the races the serrations a shot. Oh yeah, not bad at all then. So we know it's a good sharp knife. What about the um Labrador strength dog lead. Let's give that a shot. We'll get the serrations onto that first, I think. Blimey, yeah, look at that. Absolutely effortless. Have I got enough to hold here? <laughs> no, nope, right in. We'll get another bit. So you can imagine it'd be quite good for chopping through a seatbelt then. Look at that. And all about the plain part of the blade. Yep, definitely. So it's a nice sharp blade then. Unlike my other San Renmu knife, this is the only mark on the blade. The manufacturer's um, logo and the model number 913P. It's got this beautiful black finish. Um, the edge of the blade, no serrations, which are sort of like a chisel cut because they're only uh, cut on the one side, unlike the rest of the blade. You see it's a nice, made from nice thick stock. Here are the um, jimping. And the G10 scales. Look at that beautiful finish. Wonderful, love it. And we have um, the clip, which is right or left hand mount, uh, tip down only, held on with the uh, Torx screws. In fact, it's all held together with torque screws. Got um, open pillar design, stainless steel liners with the G10 scales mounted on the top. As I said, we have a little bit of jimping on the end here as well. Um, lanyard hole for those who wish to mount a lanyard on it. Hang on. There's a close-up of that centering. Look at that. Spot on. Beautiful knife. Just to give you some idea of the scale, here is my Victorinox 
Fail Master. Almost the same size there. My um, smaller San Renmu, which you've seen in the previous video. My Lansky World Legal Knife. That's a bit of a beastie as well, that one is. And finally, my Victorinox Farmer, which I carry on a regular basis. Okay. Just in case you're interested, here it is next to another one of my um, regular EDC blades, my little Victorinox SD Classic, absolutely tiny in comparison, and my Gerber Bear Grylls multi-tool, which I also carry on a very regular basis. There we are. It has a um, very little blade, another UK legal carry blade because it's not locked. Very small. This also has a uh, small serrated blade as well. And here it is compared to my pocket shark, which is a very handy little pen, which uh, does exactly what it's designed to do. And nothing more than that. Now then, as I say, I got this from Fast Tech and it cost me £10.50. Um, they got it to me really, really quickly, to be honest with you. Um, I put the order in on Saturday afternoon. Two or three hours later, I uh, got an email to say it had been shipped. I believe it left Hong Kong on Monday or Tuesday. And I got it this morning, Saturday. So that's really, really quick. I like that. Very good. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the... Uh, my review of this uh, rather nice little knife. Um, I can't legally EDC this in this country, in the United Kingdom, the nanny state. Um, but it's a nice nice for my collection, I know that much, I like it. Nice heavy, solid knife, very solid knife, very nice indeed. Um, yes, worth the money I paid for it. I think you could also pay a bit more for it, to be honest with you, but uh, it's a very, very nice knife. I like it. Um, blade goes away easily. Very smooth deployment. Strong lockup. Very well made. I do like it. I mean, listen. That is a very solid lockup. Um, well, I. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, if you did, please feel free to subscribe, um, click like, or even dislike if you want to. <laughs> it's all good to me, guys. I don't mind at all. Um, if you've got any questions on this uh, rather nice knife, please leave them in the comments below, uh, or any comments for that matter. If you if you wish to comment on it, go for it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I do appreciate you guys watching. So thank you very much and I'm gone.